Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a 360 degree video from Modo. You can also follow along if you're using something like Maya or 3ds Max or even Blender um, or Cinema 4D. It's all very similar. So uh, let me get started. I basically downloaded a little, um, just a little town. Um, as you can see, you've got some buildings and um, I just cleaned it up a little bit. I removed some of the buildings as it was quite big. And um, then I just placed my camera right in the center. There you can see there's my camera in blue. And um, if we look through the camera, you can see that we've got this view of the buildings um, around us. So um, the first thing that you need to make sure of, if you select your camera, just make sure that it's not tilted. So I'm just going to set that to zero, zero, zero degrees. And um, that way you can be sure that your camera is not tilted and everything's going to look great. So if we go back to perspective, you can see um, it's not tilted forward or tilted backwards. That's the way you want to set up your camera. Okay. And next, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your camera projection is set to spherical. And in Modo, it's really simple. If you just click on your camera and you go to projection type, by default, this will be set to perspective. And um, I'm just going to set this one to spherical VR, which stands for virtual reality. Now, you might have a slightly different setting in other software packages. Um, maybe look for something that says 360 degrees or just spherical should be fine. Most of the applications should just say spherical. All right, so if we go to our render tab in Modo, you can actually look at the render. So let's just click on that to start our render preview. Um, and there you can see we've got like a spherical view. We can see all the buildings right around the camera. Um, next, you want to set your resolution for your render. So you can make this pretty high. Um, but for this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to set this to HD. So I've set it to 1920 by 1080. You can take this up all the way to 4K, 5K or 6K to get a much better result. HD will give you okay results, but I will recommend that you set this to 4K. And um, you can obviously also create an animation to have your camera actually move through the scene and then render that out. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm only gonna render a still frame and I'm gonna create a 30 second video of that still frame. But obviously you can go ahead and you can take your camera, add some animation or movement to it. And um, that will just make the 360 degree experience a little bit better. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on render and let's just give it a few seconds to render this uh, frame. Okay, so my frame is rendered. So if you decide to render an animation from your 3D application, like if you have some animation on your camera, render that to a .mp4 um, because that's compatible with a tool that I'm going to show you guys uh, very soon. So because I only rendered a still frame, I'm just going to save my image as a JPEG or a PNG. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just going to find a folder and um, I'm just going to call this, let's just call it 360. And I'm going to save this as a JPEG. Okay, you can use PNG as well, but for this, I'm just going to save a JPEG. I don't really want any alpha channel or anything like that. So I'm going to save it. And um, then I'm going to jump into Premiere just to create a MP4 file from that single JPEG. Okay, so I'm going to drag my JPEG into Premiere. And then I'm going to drag that into a new timeline or new sequence. Okay, then I'm just going to go to 30 seconds. And I'm just going to extend that JPEG. So basically, if I play this back, uh, we just get this still image, but uh, we get 30 seconds of that. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to set an out point there. And um, then I'm going to go to File, Export, Media, and I'm going to save this basically as an MP4 animation. Okay, so I'm going to select my format as H.264. That will save it as an MP4. And then I'm just going to save the video somewhere. So I'm just going to browse to my folder. Okay, and I'm going to save it as 360.mp4. Just save that and export that. So obviously if you rendered your animation to an MP4 file straight from your 3D application, you don't have to go into Premiere to do this um, only because I rendered a single still frame. That's why I'm going to do this. So I've rendered my MP4 file. So if we go and if we play that back, you'll see that we've got our basic animation or our video file. No animation, just a still frame. Okay, so I'm going to close Premiere down. And um, then there's a little application that you need to download and that's called 360 Video Metadata Tool. Uh, you get this for Mac and for Windows. There you can see there's the .exe file for Windows. But because I'm on a Mac, I'm going to use the .app file. 
and I'm going to put some links in the description below where you can find both these tools. Okay, so once that's open, you can just click on the open button and uh, then browse to that folder where you saved your MP4 file. And uh, I'm just going to select that MP4 file, click on open. And uh, then very simply, I'm just going to click next to spherical because that's my camera setting that I selected in Modo. And uh, then I'm going to click on save as. It's going to give you your file name underscore injected. And I'm just going to click on save. And it says successfully saved file. We can close that down. And then you'll see that you've got an extra MP4 file in that same folder. And if you look at it, it's going to look exactly the same, but it's got the 360 degree metadata now that you can upload to YouTube. So let's quickly test that. Okay, so I'm going to upload that file to YouTube. So I'm just going to drag it in here and um, I'm just going to call this 360 test. Okay, so let's just give it a few seconds to upload. Okay, so it's uploaded and I'm just going to click on done. And um, then I'm going to open this with Chrome because I'm not sure if Safari is actually compatible with these 360 videos. Okay, and there we go. So now if I just click and drag, you can see that it's completely 360. You can look around the scene. And obviously, if you watch this on your phone, like an Android device or uh, Apple iPhone or something, you'll be able to move your phone around and actually look around your scene, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.